Welcome to the channel friends. We're going to be trimming an oval window today. Um, we've already pre-measured these windows across uh, the drop of the oval or the arc, arch, whatever you want to call it. And then we've measured from this point up to what we call the total rise, which would be at this point in the center. And we've ordered these and by the width of the arch, and the rise of the arch, they pre-bend this molding uh, by heating it. And that gives us a molding, which I'll show you in just a second. So as we discussed before, this is the arch molding. Um, it comes rolled in a box. Uh, it's a pretty small box. And then you can see the arch. In this clip, we're showing you simply how we marked a 3 16ths inch reveal all around the window. And this allows us to simply, uh, when we attach the molding, to follow that reveal and keep everything super consistent. There, we have a piece of scrap MDF 1x4. And I'm just going to place it on the reveal that we talked about earlier. And then um, take a pencil and mark that on this side and mark it on this side. And that'll give us um, the uh, position so that we can find the intersecting point between the molding that's coming down and the one by four that's going up. I also take this one by four. Now remember the reveal's marked all the way around. So I'm gonna lay this one by four up on this arched reveal. And I'm gonna bring it down. And then I'm just gonna mark where this bottom um, rubber molding for the arch uh, would fall. And so I've done that by just putting a line here. And then you hopefully can see um, we have an intersecting point. This point is a reference point to where I'm gonna put a screw. And that screw <clears throat> will be close to this line so it can be caught. But what's it, it's going to support this molding as it flops down, it'll hit the screw and allow me to work the top of the molding to get a reveal. You probably can't see it, but I have the uh, molding laying over the top of the ladder. So here we go. We're going to mark the um, the rubber arch trim where it intersects the uh, vertical one by four that's coming into place. So at this point, I'm going to mark the back of the trim uh, against this vertical line and make sure we're on the reveal. So I'm going to just mark that. I'm going to mark up here and I'm going to mark down here just for uh, reference pur purposes. I am going to get an angle finder and determine what angle the intersecting points are at. And we're going to match that on the miter saw for the vertical MDF that's coming up. And then we're going to cut this angle, obviously, on the wall. So here's the result of finding that angle on the back side. That's where the intersection of the um, arch piece comes in contact with the uh, one by four. So I'll mark that, carry the mark up. I took a scrap piece of wood and I put it right on that line. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to take um, the oscillating tool, follow, this line using the scrap block. I'm just going to cut back and forth really, really slowly at an even stroke until we cut this piece off. And then over here, 
let's see if we can get a little bit better light. We have cut the arch molding to where the 1x4 is going to go. And then I've installed these additional auxiliary blocks. And you'll see what that does in a minute. But essentially it's going to hold the, the uh, molding that I have cut on the same angle, left and right. And we joined it in the back with some pocket screws. And we're going to next install this molding up on the wall and glue the arch to the 1x4. couple of things to point out on this finished uh, oval arched arc window is uh, the corners. Um, the corners did not line up exactly due to the fact that the width of the molding, the rubber molding, is approximately 1 16th inch wider than the 1x4. Just wanted to point that out. 